Hello, I'm John Goodyear of Newcastle University. Today, I plan to take two or three minutes to explain to you my major portfolio for science and professional communication in 2015. What I intend to do is explain the history of wine in Australia, the Hunter Valley, and then my place of work, Hope Estate. But in order to do that, I'll need to demonstrate a wine tasting. It'll be simple but effective. We'll be able to pick up small characteristics coming through with scents and aromas that you won't often pick up with wine unless someone shows you how to do it. It can be real simple and easy and it only takes three steps. So first of all, what we'd like to do is take a look at the color of our wine. So here we do have a nice, thick, rich red color. To top that off, we'll have a closer in-depth look. First of all, we'll swirl the wine and we can see possibly the legs. Now the legs are the drizzles that come down the side of the glass. They can tell us a few things, but they are quite detailed. Some things that are basic that they can tell us is perhaps the alcohol content. The more alcohol, the faster the drops will run down the side of the glass. The more sugars, the slower it will run down the side of the glass. Now they usually come uh, side by side. So the more alcohol, the lower sugar content. The more sugar, the lower alcohol content. Also, once we've done that, we look a little more in detail, we might be able to tell what kind of wine we're drinking. So if it's a light Pinot Noir, it will quite often have a lot of clarity you will be able to see your hand through the glass. If it's something a little more full bodied, perhaps a really rich Shiraz or Cab Sav, it will definitely have that rich bold red color. Now once that's done, we have a smell. So once again, swirl the glass to cover a bit more surface area on that glass, giving off a few more fumes. By doing that, we can get a stronger scent. Now if you'd like, you can smell your forearm, which simply neutralizes the scents in our nose. After that, have a smell of the wine. And we pick up a few aromas, really strong aromatic flavors. Now these flavours can tell us a lot about the wine. Typically, a Shiraz you'll pick up a hints of spice and pepper. With Cab Sav, it'll be something heavier along the lines of oak. They are quite often oaked between 12 and 24 months. Other than that, you have Merlot, which is common of the Hunter Valley. Really rich plum, really bold flavour. After we've done that, we may be able to tell more and more by smelling it. Once we're follow uh, following that, we will taste it. So our palate can only actually pick up five different flavours, which are sweet, sour, salty, uh, savory and umami. By doing that, by, by tasting the wine, what we can do is bring the blend of what we've seen, the flavors or scents or aromas that we've picked up with our nose and the feel on our palate. So a full bodied wine will be really heavy on the palate and if it's heavily oaked, we'll feel it towards the back of our tongue rather than the front. Tannins, which is something that we pick up from the wine, they are naturally producing the skins and in the oak. They'll be that tingling, chalking feeling that we get around the sides of the palate. Now we do use all of these to formulate a strong idea of what wine we're tasting. And once we're done, we call it a blind tasting if we do all this before knowing the name of the wine. And then you make an educated guess as to what you might have. But if you do already know the wine, today I am tasting a Shiraz. Now by tasting the Shiraz, I have picked up on that spice and pepper. But hopefully, by following these three steps and learning a little bit more each time, you'll be able to make your own decision and uh, be able to tell more about the wine you're tasting. Thank you.